It's places like the Florida Keys that for a decade, there's never been a question that climate change is here. The very first things we started seeing were, was a massive sponge die off in like 1978, 79. I went out to one of my dive sites uh, one day and I looked around and there were dozens of sponges that were dying. The only thing that was different at that time was that the water was extremely warm. In July, in the latter part of July and August of 1983, we started getting reports from some of the dive shops from Lukey Reef down to Key West that the corals were starting to turn white. And everyone was shocked because they had never seen a mass leaching event. None of us had. I've been on, diving on coral reefs since 1962, but never did I go to a reef and see the whole reef was absolutely stark white, just like a snowfall. Ocean acidification and the increase in CO2 in our ocean has been a major impact particularly in the closed Caribbean basin much longer than we'll ever realize. So many organisms in the ocean utilize calcium carbonate as an essential part of their life, all the way from the time they metamorphose to they start, you know, whether it's a crustacean that's going to use it for their chitinous skeleton, or whether it's a, a fish that's using it in, in their early development. Calcium carbonate is a very essential part, but now with us adding so much CO2 to the oceans, that carbonic acid that's being formed is competing with the organisms that are using calcium carbonate naturally. And so we, we, we think about what it's going to do to corals, but we also have to think about what it's doing to fish and other organisms. When you go to the reef today and you look at it, if it's the first time you've seen this coral reef, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be lovely. You're going to see lots of things that you've never seen before. And that's your baseline. And so it's hard for you to relate to those of us who are saying, oh my gosh, it's horrible. It's not like it was in the 60s. And so my baseline is the 60s. Your baseline would be today. And, it, and the baseline has shifted. And people become more forgiving. Uh, they accept change more when it's in a very short time frame from their baseline. Unfortunately, m most people are not paying attention to it, I would say. And that's even people that their, their livelihoods are dependent on, on a healthy coral reef. Because they're really making their living off the people that are just establishing their baseline. But people come down here and they are all excited because it's tropical and it's beautiful. And what they don't know is what was there even 10 years ago. I did move a little girl in Kingston Town. Sad to say I'm on my way. Won't be back but many a day. My heart is down, my head is turning round. I had to leave a little girl in Kingston Town. I had to leave a little girl in Kingston Town. I had to leave a little girl in Kingston Town. I'm back, back, ticket to boom.